girls so it has been what feels like forever since I have sat down to film and I am so excited to be uploading a video for you girls again um, I had kind of a brief little like week long um, hiatus sort of thing I just have been really busy with my internship and hanging out with family and friends I do only have a little over two weeks left here in Florida before I go back to school in Virginia so obviously that's very far and I won't see the people that live here very much so I've just been spending a lot of time with them and yeah but hopefully I will be back on schedule now so I just wanted to go ahead and explain that really quick but anyway today I have my July favorites video for you and I cannot believe that when I'll be posting this it's going to be August 1st it's like blowing my mind this whole entire summer has just gone so so fast and as much as I've been counting the days and I'm so excited to go back to college um, I'm also sad because I'm gonna miss the people here and the beach and just things about home so yeah but anyway I don't want to make this video too long so I'm going to go ahead and get into my favorites and hopefully this video will be fairly short because I have been using pretty much the same products all month so I don't have too many things to talk about but yeah let's get started so the first product is one that I know I talked about in my last favorites video but I honestly have just fallen even more in love with it and it is the green primer from L'Oreal um, its whole name is the Magic Anti-Redness Correcting Primer, and this stuff is absolutely fantastic. It is a redness correcting primer, like it says in the name, and you just put it on and then apply your foundation over top. And I have always just been kind of self-conscious about the natural redness I have in my cheeks and just my face in general. It kind of goes like that, and I don't know, it's just probably the thing I'm most self-conscious about with my appearance, which is really silly, um, but that's just what it is. And this has pretty much let me cover it up completely, and now um, it just doesn't show anymore through my makeup. And to me, though probably most people didn't even notice it, it was just something that really bothered me about my skin and my appearance. So this primer is my best friend because it's finally let me cover it up and be able to wear blush, which I know that goes against the logic. Like if your cheeks are already red, why would you want to cover it up and then just put it on again? But um, I like the way that blush looks applied versus my skin just being all red and gross. So yeah, anyway, I really love this primer. It works super well and I actually did a video just kind of demoing this and showing you girls how it worked on my skin and everything like that so I will go ahead and link that in the down bar so you can check this out if you want to see more about it but I have been in love with this and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it when I run out but that's going to take a while because I've been using it for over a month now and you can't even really tell so yeah I'm obsessed. My next favorite is a nail polish and it is a cult favorite in the beauty community so I'm sure you've seen this before but it is Sally Hansen Pacific Blue and this color is just so gorgeous. I am in love with it honestly year-round um, but I think I wear it most in the summertime and it's just such a fun kind of pop of color but I don't know, it's just such a perfect color. I don't have a good description for it, but usually it's on my either my fingers or my toes throughout the entire summer, and it lasts for such a long time. These nail polishes by Sally Hansen are absolutely fantastic. I have way too many of them, um, probably almost every color, because they last a super long time, and they're pretty cheap at the drugstore, so totally worth it, totally recommend this, and you need this color in your life if you don't have it. It's just gorgeous. The next product is one that I feel like is a little random to include in a beauty video, but I have really been loving it, so I wanted to talk about it, and it is the EOS um, Shaving Cream. So I don't know if I've ever heard anyone talk about this on YouTube, probably because we don't really talk about shaving cream very much, um, but I saw this in the store when I needed shaving cream and I decided to just give it a try because I am obsessed with the EOS lip balms, that's no secret, and I figured if their lip balms are so good, they probably make pretty decent shaving cream. And so I tried this out and honestly, I am so in love with the way this works. Of course, any shaving cream is pretty much gonna do the same thing, but this stuff makes my skin so smooth and I feel like it makes my razor pull less when I use it. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I literally can like feel it pulling when I like shave. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I have really sensitive skin. So shaving would always kind of irritate my skin just no matter what I did until I used the shaving cream and that actually took it away. Um, my skin really doesn't get that irritated after I shave. And since this kind of has more of a like 
not gel, but like lotion consistency almost. You don't use as much product every time you shave and it's not like it's lathering everywhere because I feel like with, um, is it called Skintimate? I think it is. Um, the one that I used to use would be like a foam and it would go everywhere and I felt like I always wasted a ton of it. And with this, it's just really easy. I just use a couple pumps and that's all I need and it doesn't get everywhere and it smells really good. So um, I just can't say enough good things about this product. Um, this one is in Lavender Jasmine and I love the way it smells and the way it works and I totally recommend this. So that was actually all of the beauty products that I'm including in this video. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get into fashion and non-beauty favorites. So my first fashion favorite is kind of not exactly something that's like fashionable and like fashion forward. Um, but it's something that's very basic and that I've been wearing so much this month and it is these slacks slash business pants um, Right here. They're very basic. They're just black and um, have kind of like a flare on them. My hair is everywhere um, And then they have kind of this just like basic pocket and just pattern that a lot of business pants have um, but these are by Amy Byer um, that's the brand in case you want to look it up but I have been wearing these so much this month because um, I know a lot of you know that I started an internship and I work in an office so I have to dress business casual every day and that gets kind of hard after a while because I'm definitely not a professional yet I'm still in college so I really don't own that many professional clothes but what I love about these is I can put them on with a pair of heels and then just pick out kind of a nicer top and together it kind of just pulls the whole outfit together and I look, you know, well put together and like I'm putting my right foot forward and trying to dress professionally. So I have been wearing these pants to no end this month and they just have made my life so much easier on the mornings where I really don't want to think about what I'm wearing too much to work and I just kind of throw stuff on. So I really love these and they've also stayed in really good shape considering the amount of times that I've had to wash them and rewear them. So I totally recommend these if you need business clothes. This is a great brand. Um, I can't remember exactly how much they were because I've had them for a while, but I know it's probably around like 30 or so. Um, they're a little more expensive, but they're totally worth it because they last a really long time. And then my last fashion favorite is a pair of shoes, and they are these sandals right here. And I think these are absolutely adorable. They have kind of like a silver and gold detail on them. So they're so pretty. I am so obsessed with the way they look. Um, so they're kind of a fun like little pop to an outfit. But what I also love about these is you can dress them kind of down by wearing more casual clothes with them or I wear them a lot to work um, because they just are the perfect kind of little sandal that aren't like too casual for work but at the same time they're still really comfortable. These are by the brand X Appeal. Um, that's how you spell it if you're wondering. And they also have like some cushioning in the actual sole of the shoe so it doesn't like kill your feet if you're standing for a while. And I have worn these so much this month. Pretty much they've been almost the only thing on my feet. And they really aren't even showing it. They're still in really good shape. So I am so obsessed with these. If you need good gladiator style sandals, I totally recommend these. They come in a lot of colors, but I just happened to pick the silver ones. So yeah, I totally recommend those. I am in love with them. Okay, and now I have a few music favorites to share with you. So first is just a single song, and it is Best Song Ever by One Direction. I'm sure, unless you're living under a rock right now, you have heard this song, whether you like One Direction or not, because it's kind of been everywhere since it came out. Um, but I really just love this song. It's just so upbeat and catchy, and I have been pretty much converted. I've liked One Direction for a really long time, but I'm pretty close friends with a couple people who are really in love with One Direction, and they've kind of rubbed off on me. <laughs> so now I'm kind of more like into them and just listening to a lot of their music and everything like that, but I've definitely just really been loving that song. It's such a fun summer song to just kind of blast in your car and dance when you're driving to work or whatever you're doing and I totally recommend it if you haven't listened to it yet. I'll have it linked below along with the rest of the music that I mentioned in this video. The next music favorite that I want to share is an artist and it is Hoodie Allen and I don't know if it was this month or the end of last month that I bought his EP All American and I honestly have not stopped listening to this EP the entire month. It just is really good. I don't know how to describe Hoodie Allen at all. You kind of just have to listen to him. He's definitely in like the hip-hop-ish 
range of music and I don't know I really just love his music I love the vibe all around it and the way that it sounds and I'll try to pick my favorite song when I link that below but I totally love that album from start to finish it's just really good and it's been getting me pumped up on my way to work in the morning because I have to get up way too early for my internship and I'm kind of dead <laughs> so um, that definitely helps to like pump me up and get me ready for work on my way there and um, I totally just recommend Hody Allen in general he's just really good at what he does and yeah my next music favorite is Demi Lovato, and I know that her album came out a few months ago, but I really hadn't taken the time to sit down and listen to the whole thing all the way through until this month, and I really just fell in love. Um, this is embarrassing because I can't even remember what the album is called, but it's the one where she's all pretty and she's got her hands like on her face and stuff. And um, I just did a tutorial on Made in the USA, her makeup from that video, and I love that song. It's so good, and just the entire album is so good. Demi is so talented, and I have always been a big fan of hers. So yeah, I've really been loving that album this month. My last music favorite is one that probably most of you have not heard of, and they are a bluegrass band. So that's kind of like way off on the side, I know, um, and doesn't seem related at all. But honestly, I listen to almost any kind of music. I just love music in general. And bluegrass is actually a type of music that I really enjoy listening to, but just never had kind of taken the time to look more into. So um, my stepsister showed me Cricket Still last summer, and I remember loving them and being like, yeah, I need to get their music, and then I just totally forgot about them. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was that got me on the kick where I wanted to listen to them, but I just put them into Pandora, and I made a Pandora station based off of them, and I have not been able to stop listening to that station while I work. It's just the most perfect bluegrass station ever, and it makes me so happy, and I don't know, I just love it. So if you are into kind of more folk country sort of music, I definitely recommend checking out Crooked Still. The girl who's the lead singer has such a beautiful voice. Oh my gosh, I just can't even. I wish I could sing like her. Um, and I just really love them so much. So again, I'm going to go ahead and link them below, and I totally recommend that you girls go check them out. Okay, and my next favorite is actually an app, and I've had this app for a really long time. I got it through the Starbucks app. If you girls don't have that, you should download it, because every week they have either an app or a song that's featured for free, and all you have to do is just go into the app and like get the code, and then you can download it. So this was one of their free downloads one week, and I just thought it sounded cool, so I downloaded it and my like obsessive organizational personality has like kicked in and I've fallen in love with this app. So anyway, it is called Clear and it is right there. Let's see if I can click this while looking in the viewfinder. There we go. So you can make different to-do lists. It's a lot like reminders that comes with the iPhone, but this is just kind of more fun because it has like a lot of graphics and I don't know, it's really pretty. So here's one of my lists. Um, oops, I'm clicking on it instead of opening it, but my list of videos to film. And so you can see, I just put all my video ideas in there. And then if I finish one, which I'm filming my July favorites right now, I can, oops, I actually just swiped it the wrong way, but um, you can swipe to complete one and then it like makes a little noise and it goes to the bottom. And um, so that way you can keep track of like your to-do lists and different things that you need to do. And for me, because I tend to be kind of a forgetful person and a person that isn't always the most organized and knowing what's going on, this helps me to stay so much more organized. This is not working with me right now. All right, I'll fix this later. Um, but anyway, so this app has really just been helping me to keep track of things. I've been so much more busy this summer because I'm working a pretty much full-time job Monday through Friday. And so I wanna keep track of all the things I have to do for that and also the things I need to do for YouTube and just my life in general. So that app has been helping me stay so organized and I totally recommend downloading it. I'm in love. And my last favorite for this month is a YouTuber, of course, because I have to always share one of these. And this month, mine is actually a collab channel, and I believe it just started this month. I think it did. It may have started the last week of June, but I'm pretty sure it's all been in July. Um, and the name of the channel is SDK, which stands for Settle Down Kids. And this channel, to me, is just so fantastic. Um, I found it through Jonah Great, or, oh my god, Great. <laughs> Jonah Green, 
His um, Twitter name is Jonah the Great, so that's where that came from in case you don't know who he is. Um, but I watched him before the channel started, and then, so I kind of found the channel through him, and then I found all of these different YouTubers that are in the channel, and I've just kind of been falling in love with each of them. They all are like a little bit awkward and have like really kind of different senses of humor but it's like right up my alley it's definitely my sense of humor and a lot of people don't even get it <laughs> which is why I come across as so awkward sometimes but I am just in love with this channel they all have just kind of funny little senses of humor and it's just a lot of fun to watch their videos so I have really been loving that this month and yeah, that was it for my favorites for the month of July. I really hope this video didn't end up being too scattered or rambly. I'm definitely going to have to edit myself down. I feel like I just didn't quite know where I was going while I was filming this. Um, but now, hopefully, it came out okay and you girls liked this video and found some new things to check out. And yeah, so anyway, like I said, I hope you girls liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that fun stuff. It's always linked in the down bar and I love talking to you girls. It's so much fun. So yeah, I guess that's about it. I will see you girls in my next video. Bye.